What was kind of the, the vibe in the locker room after the game? Uh, everybody was just slow. Uh, you could tell people weren't really too happy or excited. Like there wasn't, there wasn't much energy there and everything like that, which kind of sucks because you know being in our like just being in the locker room every day all the time, it's just it's a lot of excitement, a lot of energy. Like guys just being you know happy, smiling, upbeat. And it was kind of just sucked to see our guys set down and everything. But I know when it comes to uh, tomorrow, Monday, and just the whole week, everybody's gonna get back going again. Everybody's gonna be fine. We're just gonna lead. We're just gonna take this little moment to feel down. But once tomorrow hits, it's a new day. So from your vantage point, what was kind of going wrong offensively for you guys? Oh uh, well. There was a lot. I mean, just a lot of flags and everything. Uh, we weren't running the ball. Um, some, a lot of missed assignments, missed blocks, um, some drop balls and everything like that. So it was just a mix of things. Uh, from execution, X to the just we didn't really play our best. We didn't play our game and everything like that. So um, I know we're going to have to come back next week stronger and harder. So we will do that. It, it seems like at this point in the year, this could either you know make you guys or break you guys. It could bring you together. It could tear you apart. How, how do you guys get going in the right direction off of this? Uh, just lean on each other. Uh, lean on each other uh, as far as players, coaches, you know, everybody here that's with us and around us and everything like that. Because if we start listening to the outside noise or, you know, even what just family and friends might say, it's like, oh, maybe they're right. You know, then if we start letting that thought and everything sink in our head and that can affect the whole organization. So it's really just leaning on each other and just playing with each other and playing for each other. Because, I mean, we grinded, you know, for a whole off season, winter, spring, fall uh, together. So, I mean, why start losing our ways from each other? What was the locker room like after the game, uh, as far as you know, the, the attrition? What, what was just the, to kind of describe the scene, I guess, in the locker room after the game? It was really just like, uh, it was down. Like, you could tell the mor morale was down and everything. Guys weren't really energetic, upbeat, happy. Um, and I don't blame them. I don't. I would kind of be mad if I seen guys just walking around, you know, smiling and everything like that. But I mean, I don't think this is our breaking point, uh, and it's definitely not the end. Uh, guys are gonna take this out. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna we're gonna face it tonight. But once tomorrow hits, it's a new day. So, new day, new week. How important is that to to see that kind of response? Whether it's tomorrow, you guys just hanging out in the weight room, Monday at practice, whatever it is, to, to see the right response from your team? Oh, we definitely got to bring the right response because it definitely carries into next week. If we were just coming off the loss and everything and just kind of feeling low, kind of feeling down, like, oh, you know, we lost last week, but, you know, maybe we'll get it. Well, maybe we'll get one this week. I mean, that's that's not the mentality we can have, and I don't think any guys are going to come in, in, in there with that mentality and everything like that. So, I mean, we got to be ready to fire off on all cylinders. I mean, a loss is a loss. We took it. So, I mean, we got to take it and move on now. Uh, like I said, just got to get ready and prepare for next week because now it's conference. So, 